Rocket scientists have long been aware that fusion or fission are more efficient energy sources than chemical energy for rockets. And so there has been much experimentation, but no totally viable design that's currently used for any propulsion system. Of course, the environmental climate is such that people are not too happy about having nuclear reactors in space. The energy source is, however, much more efficient. Gaining energy from E equals mc squared, even with less than 1% efficiency, as happens in the sun, would mean that the equivalent of one kilogram of fuel was the equivalent of the energy from all the gasoline used in the United States in a year. This is a fantastically efficient way of powering a rocket. Project Rover in the 1960s speculated and built some prototypes for engines that could be used in rockets and demonstrated that they were three to five times better than chemical rockets. But the project was shut down in 1973. Also in the 1960s, Project Orion developed plans to send bombs from behind a spacecraft and use the explosions to sequentially push and accelerate the spacecraft to large speeds. No prototype was ever built. In Britain in the 1970s, Project Daedalus developed the idea of injecting pellets of deuterium and helium-3 and then fusing them with electron beams. A prototype on paper of this rocket could have reached Barnard's star at a distance of six light years in roughly 50 years. Project Daedalus was never funded and no prototype was ever built.